implementing small and meaningful habits into your life will create positive outcomes for you in the long run. Let's get into the video. Micro habits are tiny everyday habits that steer you towards big results. One great benefit of having micro habits is that they're not time consuming so they're easy to add to your life. The first micro habit that we have is when you wake up, thank God for waking you up and giving you breath in your lungs. You have to thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's number one. But the second habit that we have is going to be make your bed. When you make your bed, it sets the tone for your whole day to just be aware of keeping your space nice and clean and tidy. I do it all the time. And now when I do it, when I wake up, it's literally like robotic for me. I just something that I do without thinking. So it does work. The third habit is going to bed early. Trust me guys, getting a good night's rest will do you so, so good. Like you will not regret getting a good full night's rest. So I would say go to bed latest 10.30. Our fourth micro habit is journaling. And this is so important. And this is one of my favorite ones to do. I'm somebody that loves to write. So I will say to you guys, set aside a designated time for you to reflect on your day and connect with Jesus. It's so important. It's so, so important. And the benefits of this are endless. I also have a prayer journal as well. I think that's something that is really nice to have to bring you closer to God and allow you to quiet down your day and reflect. And, um, you know, yeah. Our fifth habit is write down your plans on a whiteboard. I have about an A3 size whiteboard and I feel like when you put your plans out on a whiteboard and you're able to see it throughout the day, it helps you to stay on track and stay organized. Our sixth habit is spending five minutes in your day tidying up your space. And that could be any part of the house, any part of the house that you choose to tidy up is down to you. Just spend five minutes doing it and use your phone as a timer. Our seventh habit is spend time reading books, listening to podcasts, watching videos on things that will elevate your life and add more value to you and help you to become a better version of yourself. I think this is something so important. What I what I do a lot, I listen to a podcast, which I watch online, Megan Ashley's podcast. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. I also listen to Tony Gaskins, who is a life coach and he's also a Christian and so is Megan Ashley. So these are people that I resonate well with and I can also, I'm, I might link their channels in my bio. I might link the channels in the description or I'll also link them in this video so you can have a look but it's so helpful to have people that are speaking life into you and helping you to be better because you can't lose when you are doing things that's going to elevate you and help you form yourself into be that person that you're called to be so i would say a benefit of spending time reading books listening to podcasts and watching videos that will elevate you is because it helps you to become the best version of yourself and you cannot lose when you invest in yourself our eighth habit is get budgeting, get super organized with your finances. You will really, really thank yourself in the long run for this. If anyone would like a detailed video on organizing and budgeting your finances, please let me know in the comments below. Our ninth habit is work out for at least 10 minutes of your day. Just spend 10 minutes working out. This can be a full body workout. You could do a core workout, which I really find beneficial doing like quick core workouts that you can find on YouTube. There's plenty of them on there that range from about five minutes to 10 minutes a day. It's super easy. You can also go on a walk as well. A short walk isn't gonna cost, it's not gonna be too tedious for you to do. So I would really suggest making sure that you get some movement in in during your day. Our last habit, and this one is honestly the most important, one of my most favorite habits of them all. Number 10 is pray about everything. Submit all your worries, all your concerns, all your plans, all your ideas, all your dreams. Submit everything to God and leave it there. You honestly cannot lose. When you get in the habit of praying and communicating with God, you start to develop an intimate relationship with God and you will naturally see your life flourish and change for the better. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If there are any habits that you feel that other people will benefit from, please share them in the comment section and let me know which habits that you found are your most favorite. And I would say overall with all of these, I would say, Praying about everything is so important. Making sure you set time out to journal and also spending time moving your body. 